Hi, I'm Dallas Welker, owner of Southeastern Metals. Today we're going to talk about the importance of camber. And if you look here on the table, we have a material that we just got in called Dakin Flathers Ripper S. It is very consistent in camber. As you can see, the camber, when it's lying here on the table, you can see what the camber does. Camber is actually the curve in the blade. Um, the more curved, the tighter the teeth are in the front edge of the blade when it's on the machine because when you tighten the blade up, the blade actually stretches flat on the machine, but the teeth will actually be tighter than the back edge. So when, the, as the uh, wood goes through, if you notice sometimes if you ever have a wandering problem with your steel uh, blade moving in the cut or wandering or snaking, whatever you may call it, it could be the lack of camber because the front edge is not tight at all. Um, and that could be camber. So what we're going to do is show you, you know, the difference of a good quality camber and bad quality camber. Here we have a blade, like I said, the uh, Dakin Flathers, very nice camber. To the right we have another material, that has, um, not as good camber, and it probably will cut very poorly. And uh, and sometimes you might think it's a dull blade. In, actual, in actuality, all it is is camber, like a camber, because sometimes you can take a blade off it, the seam sharp, and the only reason it's not cutting good is because there's no camber in it. 